ended up taking down the bird feeders out here because something sad happened this weekend. Mojo killed a bird and we felt so sad because we love all animals and we put the bird feeders up to be nice to the animals and then you know we have stray cats in our yard and I guess it's you know cats nature to kill birds and mice and things like that and Mojo ended up getting one of the birds so we just felt really bad you know because we were trying to be nice and we didn't really want that to happen we didn't want it to be like we're luring the birds here just to get killed so no more bird feeders in our yard See, it was up there uh, oh my god it's seriously so hot 110 degrees the car said can you believe that it was like hard to touch the steering wheel i couldn't even hold on to the steering wheel the whole drive over here i would have to like hit it if i needed to move a little bit and then be like ah it burned my hands. Anyway, I'm headed to Target right now. I need to get a couple things. Target, good old Target. The main reason I'm here is because of Lola. Oh, do I have like a sweat mustache? Well, Lola's breath is very, very stanky. So I'm here to get some toothbrushes and toothpaste for the dogs. I hope they have it. I think they would in the pet aisle. Uh-oh, all I'm seeing is like the dental treats. I'm not seeing any toothbrushes, like actual toothbrushes for dogs. Just like these greenies. Am I just missing it or do I really have to go all the way to Petco? <sighs> Yay, I did find one so I don't have to make an extra trip but the toothbrush on here just looks like a regular people toothbrush. So I'm just gonna buy some regular people toothbrushes for the other dogs, um, and then they'll just all share the same toothpaste. That seems like it'll work. Okay, then I just need some makeup. I need some powder to keep my face from being all sweaty and shiny. Usually just get CoverGirl Translucent Honey is my shave. Yeah, I don't really buy any special makeup. I just get stuff from the drugstore. And then mascara. My favorite mascara is L'Oreal Double Extend. Schwink! There we go. Mascara. Perfect. I'm all set. Well, I still gotta grab those toothbrushes for the rest of the dogs. But, yeah, the toothbrush doesn't look like it's anything special. So I assume a people toothbrush would be exactly the same thing, right? Oh my god, how embarrassing. I just got back from Target and I put powder in my eyebrows and it was so hot, I guess, I must have touched it and I just smudged it. So I was walking around Target with a big old smudge like that. Oh well, it happens to the best of us. Hopefully it wasn't that noticeable. I fixed it. Oh, and I wanted to show you. Remember those sunflowers that I planted the other day? Look how fast sunflowers grow. Seriously, that's only been there for a couple days. I can't believe they grew that fast. Can't wait to plant them in my garden outside. So today the dogs are getting baths. They're due for one. They're getting pretty stinky and we don't want stinky dogs now, do we? So I'm gonna give Lola a bath first because she's kind of the easiest. She loves it. She just likes to be warm. So she's like, oh, bath. Well, it's hot outside so the bath won't be too hot today but it, she'll be more comfortable drying off because of the warm weather. So let's get some water in the tub first. So I actually used to have really, really nice apple dog shampoo and conditioner for Lola. It was like fancy stuff and I can't find it. I know I had some left. So this is just like regular puppy shampoo. But um, it was funny when John's brother Tom was staying with us, I had the dog shampoo in the shower, the shampoo and conditioner, and Tom was using the dog shampoo and conditioner for like a week straight. And then finally one day he came downstairs, he's like, what the heck, this is dog shampoo. I'm like, yeah, it has a picture of a dog on it. You really didn't figure that out? And he's like, well, I don't know, it, like, it smelled good. It looked like shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> and now we just rinse it off. Lola, Lola, oh no! <laughs> Hang on, let me get you a towel. I just, I just wanted to film you because you look so cute. I gotta get you a towel, baby. Hang on, so clean. And we dry off the baby. Yeah. She was so good. And now she gets to lay outside in the sun. She'll be happy about that. <laughs> Lola, you're a good girl. Isn't she a good girl? Whoa, geez, you guys. Hey, you two still need a bath. But look at Lola. She's like, yes, I love the sun. I love it. 
They're all smelling her like, hey, you seem different. Are you wet? And now it's Mr. Thorsky Doodle's turn. Thor, you have a happy face on. Ready, Thor? Oh, I think he was trying to get out. Thor, do you like to wash in Lola's old bath water? Do you like to wash in Lola's old bath water? You and your museum of lovers, a precious collection, your past and your cover. Cause I still love to wash in your old bath water. You make me feel like I couldn't love another. I can't help it. You're my kind of man. Did it? I'm sure there's no one actually there. You need to be the devil. <laughs> Stop shaking on me. Come here, Thor. Let me dry you. Oh, let me dry you. Thor! <laughs> Come on now. Hey, you be quiet. There's nothing to bark at. You shush. <laughs> okay, you're gonna make the whole couch smell like wet dog. Come on, you wanna go outside? You wanna go drive in the sun? Aphrodite, are you enjoying this nice cool? Ah, Tiffany, <laughs> Tiffany, ah, ah, you brat, ah crazy kitty. We have this heavy duty air conditioner in here and the animals will like take a break from the day in our bedroom. They'll wait at the door one by one. We'll let them in. Then they'll come and relax for a little while. Then they want to go back out and enjoy being walking around the house or whatever they do. And then they'll come back to the door like, ah, I just need a little bit of a break from this crazy heat. So I guess we're just going to wait to give Kenobi a bath because we need to give him a bath outside and it's just so hot and I was gonna have John do it and the heat is really affecting John today which I get that way sometimes too if it gets really hot all of a sudden sometimes it takes me a couple days to get used to it and it just takes its toll you know like it, it, it will affect my mood it'll affect my body and I just want to stay locked in a cave with the air conditioner on all day so yeah we're just gonna wait to give Kenobi a bath Ugh, it's been so hot in Southern California the last few days, it's been like 105 degrees and it's just ridiculous. And it's trash day, throwing out a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to take the trash out right now. It's been so hot, I've just been waiting until the sun goes down to open up all the windows and turn some fans and stuff and like kind of try to get the house cooled down a little bit. We have air conditioning, but you know, it's expensive to run your air conditioner like all the time, every day. Oh, taking out the trash, cause tomorrow's trash day. Uh oh. Dun 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 We have a lot of trash this week because we kind of did some spring cleaning so we got a little bit of extra trash there I'm throwing that out too Hey there trash man Don't call me that trash woman <laughs> Hey look it's Mojo Working out was really good like I'm actually finally starting to get to the point where I'm like checking myself out in the mirror during workout class and I'm like I'm really starting to like my body. Starting to get a good summer body. Does that sound conceited? No, I just mean like my hard work has been paying off. Mm, except you fart a lot. I do not. Other than that. <laughs> oh, so my face probably looks really red. From I, farting? Like, no, I get a really big bad red face when I work out. <laughs> when you hold in your farts and let them all out. I'm just kidding, she doesn't fart, unless she's crying. Anyways, check out the yard. So I've been working really, really hard on that. 
I'm just kidding, I actually just hired somebody to do it. Um, I wasn't really familiar with what I needed to do to get some grass growing, so I hired the people who actually did the neighbor's yard to come to our, our yard, um, and it worked out really well. We should have grass in about a month, so when we get back from Minnesota, we should have a full, lush, green yard, and I'm really excited. Because when we get back, we'll be able to look at it, and then it'll be done, and we won't have to sit there and wait around for the grass to grow. You know what I mean? Because that can be frustrating, waiting for things to grow. Well, I'm glad I gave Thor and Lola a bath today, and I actually can't wait until Kenobi gets his bath, because it'll be nice to have three clean doggies, and maybe um, that will help with Kenobi's shedding, too. But I'm going to wrap things up. Always remember, guys, that I love you, and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah!